This is one of the best questions to use to practice linear motion with. And actually, I'll be taking at least one day per week to answer the randomly asked questions, but you need to be a registered member of Computer Mathematics to be able to ask questions. So this particular question was asked by Mercy from Asumbi Girls. And um, let's actually get right into it. We are given that two express matatu, that is matatu A and B traveling towards a certain town P along the same road at 90 km per hour and 80 km per hour respectively. And then we are told that when A is 32 km from P, B is 42 km from P. And then the question goes ahead and tells us that if A passed at X from P, find the value of X, Roman 2, find the time taken by Matatu to reach P after overtaking Matatu B. And uh, finally, part 3, if uh, Matatu A had puncture, uh, which took 13 minutes to repair after overtaking Matatu B, determine which Matatu arrived at P first. Uh, you see all these uh, questions arising from these all amount to 10 marks. So therefore, this is a, a question for section B. And it's important that you get to understand how you are really supposed to solve it. Therefore, it's important that you get to follow all along. And uh, I would wish that you do really understand it clearly. Yeah, step by step. And let's get into it. Yeah, we might need to squeeze the question a bit so that we can get some space to work on. So we have it as two express matatus A and B traveling towards a certain town P along the same road at 90 km per hour and 80 km per hour respectively. And then we are told that when A is 32 km from P, B is 42 km from P. So the first thing that we do is uh, try to see on whether we can be able to represent this information in a pictorial form or an, in a figure. You know, we usually say that a picture represents a thousand words. Maybe let's find out whether that is the same in mathematics. Um, so we can assume that this is the point which is town P right there. And then we are told that we have got two matatus. Uh, the first one, uh, we are told that it is, uh, that is matatu A is 32 kilometers from P. If this is point P, therefore, that would imply that uh, this matter to A, let's take it to be around this place, then it is somewhere there. And um, so the distance from here, that will be 32 kilometers like that. And uh, the other one, which is B, is 42 kilometers from P. So we plot another one like that. So this is just a sketch. So that is B, it is 42 kilometers. We write 42 kilometers like that from P. And then we're told that if A passed at X, so that implies, so remember that these two matatus are traveling towards P. So this is the direction they are taking like that. They are moving towards the left direction like that. So this matatu that is right here, it passed this one at a point x so therefore it is somewhere here so we can let that point x to be somewhere here you say that this is point x like that so we've got an additional point there point x so let's go ahead and see what the question is uh, asking us and what it is uh, uh, giving us as additional information. So on matter to A, we are told that this matter to is traveling at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour. Therefore, it's important that we indicate that 90 kilometer per hour. Uh, what about B? B is traveling at 80 kilometers per hour. We indicate that 80 kilometer per hour, like that. Um. So do you have any additional information? Not really, but this is the part, the, the, the place where matter to A passed B. So this is the overtaking place, over, 
overtaking this is the place where overtaking took place uh, so we are told find the value of x so the x is the distance from here to here this is the value of x um let's find out how we can be able to label that so this is the distance x and uh, it's the distance that we are supposed to first find so if this is x then would that would imply that the distance from here to here then that is 42 minus x and at the distance from here to here then that is x minus 32 this is actually x minus 42 this is actually x x minus 42 why because the whole of the distance from here to here is x and the distance from here to here is 42 therefore to get the distance from here to here we simply take the whole distance which is x and then we minus this distance which is minus 42 uh, which is 42 here uh, to get x minus 42 as the distance from here to here let's go ahead and see uh, what we can be able to do with this information uh, we will know that this one is now the distance which is x minus 32 x minus 32 that's the distance x minus 32 but we know that distance is equivalent to speed times time so if we can take that the time that was used by this vehicle uh, to travel from here to here to be t uh, then that would imply that this distance which is here x minus 32 is equivalent to speed times time and speed for this matatu is 90 therefore this is 90 multiplied by t remember this is speed times time should give us the distance covered which is x minus 32 similarly um to this case remember that at this point that we are given here that is the uh, when this matter to a is 32 kilometers away from p it is at a similar time at uh, when this matter to b is 42 kilometers away from b therefore this matatu also took time t to travel from this point of overtaking to this point that is right here so that would imply that this distance which is x minus 42 is equivalent to the distance or rather to the speed of this matatu which is 80 multiplied by the time which is t the time that we don't know so you see that we've been able to form two equations and from these two simultaneous equations we can be able to find the value of t but how can we be able to do that we can use either substitution method or elimination method but for this it is quite easier to solve using elimination we can be able to eliminate x and the way that we can be able to do that is to minus each case we minus the upper equation um, uh, we minus the lower equation from the upper equation so we have x minus x that is zero and then we have minus 32 minus minus 42 it's very careful it's very important that you be very careful as you do this subtraction because here we have minus 32 and here we have this minus and here we have this minus 42 remember that when you've got two consecutive minuses that automatically changes to be an addition sign therefore this one is equivalent to negative 32 plus 42 which is equal to 42 minus 32 which would give you a 10 but all this was there for your explanation to ensure that you don't really make that mistake when doing subtraction so here we get a 10 and then on the other side we have 90 minus 80 that is 10 t so therefore 10 t is equals to 10 which then would imply that t is equals to 1 so i see that we have already gotten the value for t so we can just use one of the equations to replace the value for t we can choose either the first one or the second one yeah since we have uh, 
the first equation appearing first yeah we can give it uh, the first consideration but they are all supposed to give you an equal value so we have t is equals to one so we are going to substitute right here so we have x minus 32 is equals to 90 and then multiplied by one it is not going to change anything it's just going to remain as 90 so eventually we have x is equals to 90 plus 32 which is going to give you 90 plus 32 that's 9 plus 3 12 and at this two and remember that this one is in terms of kilometers because we are talking about distance so what's the value of x therefore x should be 122 kilometers so let's go ahead and uh, check out the second part of the equation which is actually very important that you uh, get to understand on how to work out all these because it's a very wonderful question for our practice on linear motion so the second part we have it as follows uh, we are told that the time taken by matatu or rather the second part asks us to find the time taken by matatu uh, to reach point p after overtaking matatu b the matatu that is overtaking b is a therefore we are being asked in regards to this one over here and uh, we are asked about the time so how do we find time we find time by doing distance over speed and uh, what's the distance here the distance here we got it as 122 it's important to write it there so that's 122 over the speed what's the speed for this matter which is 90 kilometers yeah 90 kilometers so we go ahead and uh, divide that so we have 122 divide by 90 what do we get from there we get a fraction which is 1 16 over 45 and this is ours we can convert this can we convert this part to minutes well we can well you can leave it at this and also if you wish you can decide to convert this part into minutes let's go ahead and do that we are going to get one hour and then we have 16 over 45 to convert this one to minutes we multiply it by 60 so we have 16 divided by 45 multiplied by 60 what do we get from there we get 21 1 over 3 so all these parts are uh, which is right here All this part becomes 21 1 over 3 minutes so this is the time taken that's one hour and then we have 21 1 over 3 minutes Ah, amazing. The question is becoming a little bit easier and also we are making some good progress because now I see that we only have the final part that you are supposed to look into. So we have the final part over here that if matter to A had a puncture which took 13 minutes to repair after overtaking matter to B, if um, Without having a puncture, this matter to A, it is taking one hour, 21, one over three minutes. Therefore, that implies if we are to also factor in this time, then that would imply that matter to A would take uh, this, that is 13 minutes plus one hour plus, uh, plus this one, 21, one over three minutes. So what you are going to do is that we are going to pick this one hour. 21 1 over 3 minutes and then we add these 13 minutes to get the total time taken by this matatu to move from this point x to point b uh, to point to this point that is right here point p so we add and we get one hour and then we have 21 plus 13 that's gonna give us 
34 and uh, we have 1 over 3 minutes. Therefore, matter 2a is going to take a total time of 1 hour 34 1 over 3 minutes. So that's the total time that would be taken by matter to A to move from point X to point B. So let's move on to the uh, second part of the last part of the equation, which uh, tells us determine which matter to arrived at P first. We already have the time taken by matter to A. So what is remaining for us is to find the time taken by matter to B. So matter to B, if we are suppose if we are to get the time for that, then we should do the distance divided by speed. And what's the distance? The distance is again constant, which is 122. And then that is divided by the speed. What's the speed for matter to B? That is 80 kilometer per hour. Therefore, we go ahead and do 122 divided by 80. And what do we get from there? Let's find out. We get 1, 21 over 40. So this is 1 hour, a 1, 21 over 40 hours. But we can change this second part into minutes so that we can be able to compare it directly with this. And the way that we can uh, be able to do that is uh, by multiplying this second part by 60 and uh, let's go ahead and do that so that would imply that this is equivalent to one hour and then we have 21 over 40 multiplied by 60 so this remains to be one hour let's do 21 divided by 40 multiplied by 60 that's gonna give us 31 and a half minutes. Therefore, that would imply that uh, this second matter, to which is matter to B, is going to take one hour, 31 and a half minutes. So let's put them just together. like that so if uh, we are to compare the two of them directly you're going to notice that this one a uh, matter to a is taking one hour and then that you four one one over three minutes and then matter to b is taking one hour that one and a half minutes so you can clearly see that matter to b is taking a shorter time why because it is taking one hour 31 minutes, whereas the first one is taking 34 minutes. Therefore, that implies that matter to B arrives first. And um, what, what was the question requiring us to find? Determine which matter to arrived at B first. And therefore, we've been able to find which matter to arrived first. And also, we can be able to show that by giving the time that each matter to used to arrive at that point. So that was the required solution for that. And that is how you are supposed to solve about that. So remember that this is a random question that has been asked from our community. That is from the Countercy Mathematics community. Until next time. Bye-bye. I'll see you in uh, the next question.